Lovely to meet you. Nice to meet you. Congratulations yeah. on the film. Thank you. I haven't seen it yet because this is so much going on. Yes. It's, it's a bit. It's a bit crazy. But congratulations. Thank you. Uh, what does it mean to you and all of the team behind the film to have all the nominations that you've got today? Oh my God, it's crazy. It's it's crazy. It's. I, I was sort of tech. We were all on a WhatsApp group, and I was texting them as they were coming in. And everyone was going, Oh my God! Every time something came up, just like. Unbelievable. I think when you make an independent film, you never know where it's going to land. You never know if people are going to watch it. You don't even know if it's going to get out into the world in any way. So for it to be here feels so special. It feels really special. It's a fantastic uh, platform, Biffa, for a British independent film. Even that in itself is something that will help to give your film oxygen. You must be excited as to the next few months and more eyes on, on the film going down the line. Well, because that's, that's all it is, really, is that, oh, gosh, that's all it is, really. It just means that more people will watch it. That's what this is giving it. And our story is a real story about real women. And the more of a platform we get for people to see that, the better we've done our jobs. What can you tell people about the film they haven't seen it? Because it's a little while before it goes out into the public yeah. domain, I think next year, sometime early next year. So what can you tell us? So it's a, a story about a gay lesbian, a gay lesbian, a lesbian netball teacher working in 88 in Newcastle. And she's struggling with her own sexual identity. And it's sort of set in the backdrop of um, Section 28, which is a law that was passed by Maggie Thatcher, where it made it illegal to promote homosexuality in schools. So she's a teacher, so she starts struggling. She's already struggling with it herself. And then what does that really mean for her life and her girlfriend and her family and, and her job? I mean, uh, it's been a, a bit of a strange couple of years with, with the cinema and the pandemic and everything. And this year, obviously, some British cinemas have sadly closed and everything else. For you guys, is I mean, you don't see that as actors going forward, but I mean, are you hoping this gets, you know, around the cinemas and you get to do some Q&As and all that kind of stuff? Because it's, that's what you do it for, I guess. Yeah, I think um, watching a film in a cinema is such a different experience. And when you make a film, you make it for the cinema. You know, Georgia, our director, takes such care to make sure that she watches it on the big screen because that's how it's made. The colour, the music, it's everything about it is made to be seen in that context. So I hope people don't shy away from that or, or get lazy and wait for a streaming platform because it's just a different experience. Yeah. And it, it feels like it's a story that's very, very timely and obviously in amongst all these big blockbusters and everything else that seems to monopolise cinema these days these stories are still massively important is that is, you echo that as a, you know the, the cast and the filmmakers of this one yeah I, I think it's so important I think I, I didn't even know about Article 28 when I started approached the project I didn't even know about it and it was happening right under our noses in the 80s and it's sort of happening again in Florida with Don't Say Gay Bill it's the same thing replicating itself so absolutely these stories need to be told because seeing it and then emotionally connecting to it reading it in a newspaper versus emotionally connecting to it are very different experience of understanding yeah. so yeah and you're in great company have you managed to see any of the other films in the categories or have you have no you? I actually haven't we were in Venice but I didn't it's really hard to get into a film in Venice who knew I had the all access pass and everything and I barely got into any so I hope I'll be able to see them probably with everyone else yeah there's a lot of good stuff in there this year yeah so good so uh, juicy congratulations again wish you all the best thanks so much for stopping thank you ladies and gentlemen you're watching Hey, you guys! Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys, Is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey, you guys!